Hello everybody, my name is Benjamin, and welcome back to another video on the Great Creative YouTube channel, where today we are back in Roblox Defenders Depot. Um, in the last episode, we completely maxed out all of our Robs of Darkness, as well as extending our defense by an extra layer. Uh, for our daily reward, we had just a regular crate. Uh, there's nothing much. There was just no money in it or anything, it's fine. I just opened it up whilst I was setting up the video. But I believe we, yeah, we're on stage 359, however I believe we were losing it. Our next turret is the Dark Terror, I believe, uh, which costed 175 million. So we are going to have to save up for a bit, but we will be alright, I'm sure. Um, something else I'm realising, the Christmas event is still here. The day I'm recording this is it's Thursday, 13th of January is the day that I'm recording this so why is it still here? about halfway through the month and it's still there you know by now I'd expect it to be finished you know like Retail Tycoon 2 they've shut down all the Christmas stuff I mean they shut it down a while ago now you know now they've got the police update they're adding in things yeah we're failing this at the moment but earning 30 trillion not bad but you know it's still going I suppose Guess I want to make sure that everyone's in on it, but hmm. who knows? But whatever, nothing of my concern. They want to keep the Christmas event going. They can. Just means I'm going to keep my uh, um, Christmas cosmetics out for a bit longer. <laughs> See, you know, the Halloween event didn't last this long. The Halloween event went out surprisingly quick, actually. Now that finished, but this one's staying for ages. Who knows, maybe the developers just forgot to remove it. Developers are there preparing the next update, and they're like, oh yeah, the Christmas update's still there. Whoops, forgot to remove that. <laughs> Ooh. Well, welcome with it anyway. Alright. Well, I suppose we're just going to keep earning money. We'll have a look at the price in a second as soon as we're done with this. Here we are. Building Dark Terror is indeed the next one, correct? Yes, it is. The Dark Terror is next. 175 trillion. 12 million damage, 0 0.7 speed, and 18 range. 4 burst. Hmm. So, 3 times the damage. Um range of 18 so about half the range you know that's going back to regular you know regular levels of range you know uh speed is actually 0.1 more than that apparently it's got a burst of four so it's doing about 48 damage overall there when you talk with one burst shot so that's really good actually I'm excited to get that. That feels like it could be really good. Uh, yeah, it's the only one with burst so far. That one's targets all. Ooh, the sentry. It's attacking every target in the range. Hmm. Got a 3 billion damage with that. Jeez. But yeah, it's the only one with burst remaining. Well, let's keep fighting. Let's save up for one of them. Well, actually, after this, we'll see how much the Orbs of Darkness sell for to see if, by selling that, we'll have enough money. Hmm. That could be an interesting thing. Yeah, because if we can sell these and have still have enough money to buy a new one, I'm pretty sure a max form of one of these, you know, these ain't doing 12 million damage, are they? No, they're doing 8.5.3 speed more, you know, obviously a lot more range. It might be better to just keep the Orbs of Darkness for now, but... To be honest, with finding out the expenses and just trying to move on forward, um, whereas instead of just sticking with Orbs of Darkness for ages, trying to grind out this stage, I feel like we can move on to the Dark Terror instead. Yeah. So, uh, where's my mouse? I'm trying to close this. Here we go. Mouse is lagging a bit. Oh. Yeah, I think if we do sell an orb of darkness, we will have enough money for us. We're actually nearing in on it now, coming up to 120 million, 120 trillion. Sorry. 
So yeah, we can definitely afford one. I do think we won't be able to do co corners like this because I don't think that'll reach. You know, these reach very easily, but don't think something with half the range would be able to reach that though. So let's hop into the build menu. I'm going to start with this one here. You know, it's in a really good position. 56, yeah, 120 plus 56. Yeah, that's definitely enough. Alright, well, place. Our first Dark Terror. Commemorate the occasion. We've got it. Let's have a look. Ooh, 87.5 to upgrade. It's a bit expensive. Three runs of the round, but hey, it's progress. And we've got to make it. Ooh. Still on stage for nine. So we're looking at this. He doesn't say the burst there. In the stats up here now. But, you know, if it's two in burst, it's doing a lot of damage at once. But yeah, he, with here. Wow, is that. That's four million damage up? Wow. Four million damage up and point one speed up. Now that is good. That's great. Hmm. That is a magnificent increase. That's double the Orb of Darkness damage, is it not? Uh, just about off by a million still, but, you know, nearing up on the speed on a two point, well, point two off, and uh, only one million off doubling the damage. That's definitely an improvement. The only thing that I would that would make me think it's not an improvement is the range down. No improvement in the range with that. Uh, we're still going down 22 range, but... If you even just look at the coins then, we're now earning 4.4 trillion more. So that must be a sign that we're doing something right here. But I think Dark Terror is definitely improving our defence. Yeah, especially considering that four burst thing. If I'm getting that burst right, that means that we're doing 48 damage each time we use one of those against them. So, 0.8 speed, don't mind that there. You know, I'd rather have a much lower speed, like 0.5 or something, and then have a much higher range. But, you know, we can't go with that, so we're sticking with the kind of medium average speed and medium average range with just more damage that comes procedurally with each turret anyway really but yeah closing on a 50 trillion now getting some good money yeah just one more run around of this round <laughs> one more run around of this stage and we'll have enough money to upgrade and then we can see what the second upgrade does for us whether it's upping range speed it's obviously going to be upping damage again i don't think there's a single upgrade in this game where the damage doesn't go up but yeah yeah we're only off by so much here yeah we're only off by f well only off by 13 trillion there yeah 37.6 trillion now we must be doing something right with the dark terror if we're earning this much more now you know, 13.1 trillion off now. Oh, and we won. Wait, I didn't even realise that. We won. We're on stage 360 now. These, like, new mummies. Some mummies just rolling around here now. <laughs> yeah, we won. Must be doing something right with the Dark Terror if we just won. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, we're just off now, 0.8 trillion away. Oh, there we go, that's it. Upgrade. There we go, next upgrade is 131 trillion. Sheesh. That's expensive, but we can work with it. The actual statistic difference it makes. Well, up another 3 million. That's good damage, 19 million now with the full burst. Ooh, that's good. And another plus 0 0.1 speed going up to 0 0.9 and another two range up to 20 range so we're improving in every stage here i'm excited to see what the maxed out version of the dark terror is going to be doing because that could definitely make a difference to our defense hmm. yeah I'm definitely not going to be doing what I did before, where I made a terrible idea where I was like, ah, oh, I'll just sell my entire defence 
and then build up the said defense again with the better turret, but then only have like a quarter of my defense actually there. <laughs> yeah, that was a terrible idea, and I'm not doing it again. <laughs> All right, we've got a bit less than a hundred trillion left to get this next upgrade. Probably have to go through this stage a couple more times. I believe we were earning roughly around 30 trillion again. You know, still stuck here failing, but we've made it an extra stage forward from when we started, so must be doing something right. Yeah, just 80 trillion left. Alright. I actually think we earned a bit more that round. Yeah, up to up to nearly forty trillion that round. Much better. Keep that up. We'll only have to go through this one more time. All right. Great. All righty then. Okay, we're just about halfway through the money that we need to get to the next upgrade. Definitely got a lot to get through here. Get to get all the upgrades in. Alright. So, just 50 trillion off now. We're definitely earning a lot of money with these stages, but these stages aren't going by very fast. You know, I bet they're going a lot longer than a minute now. You know, before we were averaging about a minute per stage, but now I bet we're way over that. It seems like these stages themselves are just going way longer. They're just stretching out as far as they can. You know, just, you know as, as they get harder, they're going to get longer because it means there has to be more. Huh. It still was about a minute. Hmm. Interesting. Earned 42 trillion that time, so we're doing great. Our coins earned is just heading straight up. We're going right up. What are our stats at the moment, actually? We've killed 18.4 enemies, earned 2.15 quadrillion coins, while wow, with 2.22 trillion in total damage. 30 crates open, one daily stage, whatever, 28 walk speed, and 12.86 hours played. That's not including, like, all the time before the stats. It's before the stats came here. Oh boy, that would have been tripled. With all the grinding I did before the stats were introduced, Ooh, that number would have been much larger. Hey, we're close. Less than 10 trillion away now. Less than 5 trillion away from the next upgrade. Oh, 3 trillion. 2 trillion left. 1 trillion. And there we are. Next upgrade. We've got it. Yeah, I expected so, but I didn't want to say anything yet. 175 trillion for the next upgrade. Uh, usually, the last upgrade is usually around the same price as the turret itself. Yeah, we failed, as expected. But our money's on the rise. Yeah, let's have a look at what this last one does. My expectations, it goes up to 20 million damage, uh, 0.1 speed, and probably goes up to like 22 range. Let's have a look. Ooh, okay. No difference in speed or range, but we're going plus four on damage. Interesting. You know, I kind of would have expected a bit more in speed or range there, you know? Hmm. Well, an upgrade's an upgrade, and it's definitely better. So let's go with it. Hmm. Definitely there's a different... You know, I'd, I'd probably actually be better selling an orb of darkness and going for a dark terror of this it's, it's four million damage more right but when you're talking about the orbs of darkness and going into a base form dark terror that is it better though because with upgrading we're talking you know not changing anything we're not getting anything from the orb of darkness we're not taking anything from the orbs of darkness but then when we're selling an orb of darkness and going for a base form dark terror we're taking stuff away 
because we're taking away an orb of darkness, which means we are doing less damage because of the range difference. You know, talking 45 range, better speed. The only thing is, is that there's 3.5 million damage more and the burst effect, which is definitely very good. But when you're pairing that with a better speed, a 0.3 better speed, I believe it was, and oh, it's, it's, actually, it's 45 range, that's... 27 yeah i think i think that's right 27 range difference 27 more range 0.3 more speed that much damage isn't really making it that much anymore i think i'm gonna go for a base form dark terror anyway just for the burst effect that i think will be so worth it with this situation uh, it seems we can sell this thing, the Orbs of Darkness, for 65 trillion, uh, million, sorry. No, yeah, trillion, sorry. Uh, it's about 55 trillion, we'll round down. Um, yep, yeah. stage complete. We'll just fight again, keep the money rolling. Yeah, 175, take away 55, we're talking 120 trillion. So after this stage, we will have enough money to sell an orb of darkness and go for a base form dark terror brilliant all righty then well then let's see the money rolling in here earning a lot more here how much are we actually losing by i'm quite curious to see so it must be by a fair bit, because we've been making some decent progress up here, and yet we've still only succeeded through one more stage, and probably did so very narrowly, considering we had the same defence on the stage before, and ended up doing a lot less, well, a lot less damage, which I'm technically just calculating in the amount of money earned, because that's all I was really paying attention to. Doesn't look like there are many enemies up there. I think it's just the high health, to be honest. Yeah, them coming in with 400 million health, 200. Just getting, yeah. It's just the amount of health that they've got. There's only two of them up there and probably more to come, but they've got like 500 odd health each. 500 million, I'm sorry. With 500 trillion, sorry. Everything's in the trillions and I keep saying millions. I keep thinking that one of them, one of the statistics is millions, but it's not. <laughs> Okay, we got 140 trillion. Let's go. We've easily got enough money to go and sell an orb of darkness and move it onto a dark terror. So let's head over here. Let's plop it right next to the other dark terror that we have. Gosh, the defense is so long now. Just trying to journey across it to get to the other side. It's pain. Alright, that one's sold. And then we replace it with a dark terror. Uh, it's doing the weird thing with the dot in the middle of the screen again. I'm not using the mouse instead. Whatever. There we go. It's placed. Well, for now, I do think that is all the time I have for today's episode. So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. And as always, stay creative.